Oh yeah. Hunter x Hunter, episode 62. Let's skip something? Oh, it's rock, scissor, paper. I'm gonna use rock. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is the warm up. I lost again. Why do I always lose rock, scissor, paper in these, these shows? Damn it. <laughs> I just need one. I need one victory. That means they beat everyone else? But like how? With, with Nen? Huh, that's one you gotta use with caution. Anything false is open to a lot of interpretation as well. Like, how liberally are we interpreting that? Is it one of those let he who is without sin cast the first stone? It just cuts anything? Or anyone? Also, did that just say it's used to cut down criminals? That's a, that's a terrifying death penalty if you're a liar or criminal. Reality X and X Raw. It's only a B rank? Ha! Huh. Doubt it. Calling your bluff. Ouch. Wrecked. <laughs> They're not newbies. Why don't you try something? Try something. Okay, starting to get a little bit threatening. <laughs> starting a little bit credible here. Damn, this guy just got wrecked. Can we just walk? Can we like get where we're going without being accosted? Without anything to defend you. So have we just decided we're gonna play by the, the original premise of the game? I guess we have. Because I easily could have just killed those guys. It's just a learning curve of the game. It's like how in some games you're required to lose the first fight. It's an introduction to the mechanics and to give you some sense of scale in the game. Stalker. Who's creepier, Hisoka or this girl? It's still not clear that these guys can be trusted. After this arc, I'm going to have developed the skill of reading two things at once. That's got to be an S rank. SS. This game was really, really well thought out by the author. It's so detailed. Mm. It is kind of like a Final Fantasy VIII. And there's no point do, yeah, transforming, transforming them until you can protect it. They've thought this through pretty well. Oh, he didn't say anything about homework. Going in clue or right to dip. The blank one's more fun. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, I'm with going on this one. For sure. The Hunter exam, again, proving to be extremely important. But do they lie to you? <laughs> He's excited. And we're gonna run there because that's what we do. That's how we were trained. Oh, hi. It's a trick. Oh, okay. It's a trick? <laughs> Little brat, how old is she? Keeps referring to them as kids. Nah, your life's gonna be changed forever. Yeah, they might change their tune in about five years. <laughs> oh my god, these guys are gonna crush it. They also won't care about the like thieving thing or the killing thing. Or maybe they will, you know, just to give themselves a challenge. Shalnark is just such a ball of sunshine. He might be on the same page as Gon. Gon's speech last episode was so fascinating to me. There's so many aspects of it to consider. One of them is the question of how you play games. How do you feel about exploits? How do you feel about the goal versus the means to obtain the goal? Then there's another element, which is with what kind of energy do you approach things? And in that sense, I feel like the Phantom Troop might be aligned with Gon. That's the test of NPCs or real players. Oh, it's rock. <laughs> How does it work? 
ここのゲームは仮想世界ではなく、現実世界のどこかで行われている。Damn, this guy, speaking of exploits, but <laughs> with the same spirit as going, it's kind of odd. Like I said, I think they agree on the spirit of things. The idea of just being bitter, not seeing things as a joy, complaining about things you have no control over, letting frustration with difficulty affect your, your values, wanting something so badly that you let your own rules slide somewhat, which doesn't feel great about the other stuff. I have to think about this a little bit more. I might come up with objections later, but so far, I don't have any issue with anything that Chalnark is saying. I think it depends on your goal. I think if you have the right values in place and you're generally oriented towards trying to do good things. Rules are not necessarily the highest authority. I'm getting a little bit wild and radical on this one, but the older I get, the more I think that laws are kind of a terrible authority to follow if you're only following them because they're laws. Laws sort of mean nothing to me, except that there's correlation a lot of the time between what the law is and what I feel is right anyway, or it's just fear of getting caught in the consequences. Other than that, the law is like, it's nothing. It's meaningless. Of course, that's dangerous because am I a good arbiter of <laughs> what is right and wrong? I certainly feel that I am want to believe that I am, but I'm sure a lot of people probably do. And that doesn't mean that they're right or that I'm right. But I think I'm, I'm reasonably clear on what I want and it's to live a great life and be a great person, do good things to the best of my ability. And so the technicalities of things, the common procedures of things sometimes end up being obstacles to that goal. And there's a temptation to kind of see things through via the usual routes or protocols. And a lot of times it's just better not to. It's a very stupid example, but like when I was younger, if I started a book, I feel like I'd have to finish it. Now it's like, you know, I'll read until I feel it's no longer useful or I'm not like getting enough utility out of it and I'll just drop it. The same thing for, uh, TV shows these days. Or in a more general life sense, there are conventional models for life, how to play the game of life, and not knocking that at all, I think they're very useful as a guideline, as sort of a center, but it becomes a problem when you can't when you can't question it at all, and when you're ignoring your, your individual predilections that are not necessarily best supported by the conventional path. There are a lot of answers in which there is a default path, but no definitive answer as to what's right. So like, do I want to focus more on current utility, enjoying my life, or future utility? Do I need a lot of money, and if so, what for? Would it be better to have less money and more time? Do I want to get married? Do I want kids? Do I need to live in the country in which I was born? Do I need to remain a citizen of the country in which I was born? Extremely particular to me. Do I need a visa or permanent resident status in the country I'm living in? Or am I okay just being a perpetual tourist? Do I really ever need to own property and why? The negatives that jump out for me immediately in this particular situation, they may be willing to kill and that sort of crosses key value lines for me. And also maybe by removing the items, they are kind of ruining the, the game. I was just talking about everyone having different goals, but I think there's a hard cap that exists when your goals are a net harm to others more than the value that they create. <laughs> あとはフィンクスたちとの合流だな。こいつも安い方にしずか。でも、スペルカード。あ、<laughs> Stalking intensifies. She's running like that, but she must be insanely fast. They're under underestimating her the way most people underestimate them. Yeah, it doesn't look like she's going very fast, but she must be booking it. He's gotta be NPCs. They all got the same, same design, character design. Oh. Oh, you've unlocked a side quest. And cholera. <laughs> you've unlocked cholera. Get the cholera card. Oh, this is as side questy as side quests get. Oh man, we've reached Tundra levels of side quest. Bro, stop coughing in my face. <laughs> Turn away. Don't say. All their lovable bandits. Is it? 
Ask them a difficult question. Some games scam you. Xenogear scams you. Yeah, but money flows like water. It leaves on trees for us. I like how we just became a trio without our consent. <laughs> that is cold. Yeah, give him five years. There's also Yuffie. Yuffie scams you. She's also a bandit. And you gotta keep paying up so you hit the right choices in the dialogue tree. Pipe down. I don't like where this is going. Normally I wouldn't be thinking in this, this light, but this is the show of Hisoka and Schwing. <laughs> Whoops. What was the... Yeah, what was the utility of that side quest? Oh, you know what it might be? One of those things where you just lose money, and then like, late game, you go back, and there are new dialogue choices for like an ultimate weapon or something. So they're okay using Nen against the monsters of the game. They could be like total purists and just be like, we're using cards only. Oh wow, they're fighting titans. Uh, these don't look like level one. Yeah, okay. Well, we got Nen, so... I don't think we'd be able to defeat these with Book. Hit it in the nape of the neck. Close enough. Cool. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Oh, I hate when that happens. I hate when spoils like disappear on a timer. Didn't even try punching it. These things remind me of Final Fantasy XIII. Those damn turtles. Were they turtles? Oh, I saw this thing. This thing vomits candy, yeah. There we go. Well, they're having a great time. They're just exploring. Nah, they're good. They've been here like five minutes. Yeah, what did I tell you? Already in love. Get in there. I guess it was specifically designed so that you would use Nen. Oh, it just gave up. I'm trying to play the game. She just muscled her way into being their mentor. I mean, she knows you don't. Go just fell into the dynamic that she said. Biscuit! I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clear that she was older. So you two are a creeper. And that's when Gon fell in love. <laughs> I mean, she kind of had to be. The fact that she's here. That doesn't make it any less creepy. Ah yes, preying on young boys. <laughs> the Hunter X Hunter story. Is she love interest or mommy? Or both. <laughs> Could be both. I had a sugar mommy offer recently. That's how I'm paying my bills. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I was saying we needed something like that. And here it is. It would be nice if some of that information was contained on the card itself, but oh well. So during the York New Arc, a lot of the comments were talking about how it's, you know, it's my favorite arc, it's my second favorite arc, which made me a little bit worried that my enjoyment of the show would perhaps be inconsistent arc to arc. But honestly, I'm loving this one just as much. It's really different, but amazing. Though it's still early, it's been great and it's extremely promising. It doesn't hurt that like RPGs form a core part of my identity and interests. 
and like lifestyle. Over the years, I've spoken a lot about Final Fantasy VII. I had kind of a full circle moment the other day because I was walking through the train station in Gangnam and there was an ad for, I don't know, there's some new version of the game coming out. And it was cool to see here in Korea because I really do believe that playing RPGs at a young age is what developed my hunger or my interest in living abroad, traveling around the world. Speaking of tapping into frameworks that you experience in games and moving that over to real life to fit your, you know, your excitement, your spirit of adventure, etc. For me, traveling around is still in a weird way me exploring that world map as a 10 year old in my living room. I so, so seldom play games these days. I mean, it's, it's basically absent from my life at this point. But those early experiences were so formative. I feel like they're still very much alive in a way. That's the power of good media at the right time. I mean, there are other things too, like not to overly pat myself on the back here, but I think one, one thing about my life that is perhaps more on the rare side is like I've had a lot of very varied experiences like a ton of them and there's probably a really strong connection to the fact that I think of it as quests you know it's like this is the arc of this moment what would be the coolest thing I could do in this situation wouldn't this be a cool little chapter or anecdote if I did that what if I press x in this location you know I have it I have what Gon has I don't always live in that space because I'm a human being but I understand it I think that's why I love it so much I love watching Gon and Clue so much